Hello students, how are you all? I hope you all are fine. So today I am here with lesson number 17 of your English grammar book. The name of the lesson is Transformation of Sentences. We know that sentences have different structures like simple sentence, compound sentence and complex sentence. In your previous chapter, you have gone through it thoroughly. Here, we will learn transformation of sentences. What is the meaning of transformation of sentences? When we transform sentences into different forms without changing the meaning, it is known as transformation of sentences. That means when we transform the sentence, the meaning remains same. The meaning does not change. It can be done by expanding a word into a phrase or a clause. So here are a few examples. First one is, you can learn a lot by reading books. This is an example of simple sentence. Now, in order to transform this simple sentence into compound and complex sentence, we have to expand this prepositional phrase by reading books. This is a prepositional phrase and we have to expand it in order to transform this simple sentence into compound sentence and complex sentence. So when we transform it, what it comes? Read books and you can learn a lot. This is an example of compound sentence. You can learn a lot if you read books. This is an example of complex sentence. Clear all of you? So now we will learn how we can convert simple sentence into compound sentence. So definition is given there in your book very clearly. Simple sentences can be transformed into compound sentences by expanding words or phrases into clauses and connecting them to the main clause by using coordinating or correlative conjunction. So I'm repeating again. Simple sentences can be transformed into compound sentences by expanding words or phrases into clauses and then connecting them to the main clause by using coordinating or correlative conjunction. Example you can see here, without pain there is no gain. So this is an example of simple sentence. So when we transform it into compound sentence, it will be there has to be pain or there is no gain. So this is a clause, there has to be pain is a clause, then or is a conjunction, that is a coordinating conjunction or correlative conjunction and it is connected to the main clause, there is no gain. So here it is being transformed into a clause, then it is connected to the main clause by using a correlative conjunction or coordinating conjunction. So this is the process of transforming simple sentence into compound sentence. We have to expand the word or phrase into a clause, then we have to connect it to the main clause by using a correlative or coordinating conjunction. Clear all of you? So our next one is how we can convert simple sentence into complex sentence. So simple sentences can be transformed into complex sentences by expanding a word or a phrase into a subordinate noun clause, executive clause or an adverb clause. I'm repeating again. Simple sentences can be transformed into complex sentence by expanding a word or a phrase into a subordinate noun clause executive clause or an adverb clause. For example, I want to stay fit. It is an example of simple sentence. Then when we change it, when we transform it into complex sentence, it comes, I work so that I can stay fit. It is transformed into an adverb clause. So when we change the simple sentence to complex sentence, it comes this way. I work so that I can so clear all of you how we can transform simple sentence into compound sentence and how we can transform simple sentence into complex sentence. Now we can also transform compound sentence and complex sentence into 
simple sentences. So how we can do it? We can transform a compound or a complex sentence into a simple sentence by reducing, not expanding here, it is just the opposite of expanding that is reducing, by reducing a clause into a noun, adjective, adverb or a prepositional phrase or use a participle gerund or infinitive. Okay, I'm repeating again. We can also transform a compound or a complex sentence into a simple sentence by reducing a clause into a noun, adjective, adverb, or a prepositional phrase, or use a participle, gerund, or infinitive. So clear all of you? So how we can transform simple sentence into compound sentence, simple sentence into complex sentence, and then also compound and complex sentence into simple sentence. So this is the end of our today's video. In the next video, we will come up with your another lesson. Till then, thank you.